Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will learn about operations with complex numbers. First of all, let us discuss complex numbers. Now, any number of the form a plus b iota where a and b are real numbers is called a complex number. And here a is called the real part of the complex number and b is called the imaginary part of the complex number. Now let us discuss operations with complex numbers. Now we can perform all the four basic operations that is addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. All these operations when performed on two or more complex numbers the resultant is also a complex number. First of all, let us discuss addition. Now the addition of two complex numbers Z1 is equal to A plus B iota and Z2 is equal to C plus D iota is defined by the relation Z1 plus Z2 is equal to A plus B iota the whole plus C plus D iota the whole which is equal to A plus C the whole plus B plus D the whole into iota. Now here we know that Z1 is a complex number and for the complex number Z1, Z2, A, B, C and D are real numbers. Therefore A plus C and B plus D are also real numbers. So Z1 plus Z2 is of the form P plus Q iota where P and Q are real numbers. So this is also a complex number. So if Z1 and Z2 are two complex numbers, then their addition, that is Z1 plus Z2, is also a complex number. Now secondly, let us discuss the negative of a complex number. Now if the complex number Z is equal to A plus B iota, then negative of the complex number that is minus Z is defined as minus Z is equal to minus A plus B iota the whole which is equal to minus A minus B iota. Now let us see one example. If the complex number Z is equal to 5 minus 6 iota, then its negative that is minus Z is equal to minus 5 minus 6 iota the whole, which is equal to minus 5 plus 6 iota. So the negative of a complex number is also a complex number. Now let us discuss the subtraction of complex numbers. Now if the complex number Z1 is equal to A plus B iota and the complex number Z2 is equal to C plus D iota where A, B, C and D are real numbers then the subtraction of Z1 and Z2 is defined by the relation 
z1 minus z2 is equal to a plus b i out of the whole minus c plus d i out of the whole which is equal to a minus c the whole plus b minus d the whole into iota. Now z1 and z2 are two complex numbers and a, b, c, d are real numbers. So a minus d and b minus d are also real numbers. This means this number is of the form x plus y iota where x and y are real numbers. So this is a complex number. Therefore we can say if z1 and z2 are two complex numbers then z1 minus z2 is also a complex number. That is the subtraction that is the subtraction of z1 and z2 is also a complex number. Now let us see one example. Now if the complex number z1 is equal to 2 plus 3 iota and the complex number z2 is equal to 5 plus 6 iota then z1 minus z2 is equal to 2 plus 3 iota the whole minus 5 plus 6 iota the whole which is equal to 2 minus 5 the whole plus 3 minus 6 the whole into iota which is equal to minus 3 minus 3 iota. Now let us discuss one more operation that is if m is a positive integer and z is a complex number which is equal to a plus b iota then m into z will be equal to m into a plus b iota which is equal to m into a plus m into b into iota. Similarly, 1 over m into z that is 1 over m into a plus b iota is equal to 1 over m into a plus 1 over m into b iota. Now let us see one example. Let the complex number z is equal to 2 plus 3 iota and m is equal to 5 and 1 by m will be equal to 1 by 5. Then m into z will be equal to m into a that is 5 into 2 plus m into b that is 5 into 3 into iota so this is equal to 10 plus 15 iota and 1 by m into z will be equal to 1 by m that is 1 by 5 into a that is into 2 plus 1 by 5 into b iota that is into 3 iota which is equal to 2 by 5 plus 3 by 5 into iota. Now let us discuss the additive inverse. Now the complex number z2 is the additive inverse of the complex number z1 if z1 plus z2 is equal to 0. Now let z1 is equal to a plus b iota and z2 is equal to c plus d iota where a, b, c and d are real numbers. Now z2 is the additive inverse of the 
of z1 if z1 plus z2 is equal to 0. Or if z1 which is a plus b iota the whole plus c plus d iota the whole which is z2 is equal to 0. Or if a plus c the whole plus b plus d the whole into iota is equal to 0. Or if a plus c is equal to 0 and b plus d is equal to 0. Or if a is equal to minus c and b is equal to minus t. Or if c is equal to minus a and d is equal to minus b. Therefore, the complex number z2 which is equal to c plus d iota will be equal to as c is equal to minus a so it will be minus a and d is equal to minus b so it will be minus b iota which implies z2 is equal to minus a plus b iota the whole thus if a plus b iota is a complex number where a and b are real numbers then its additive inverse is minus a plus b iota the whole which is equal to minus a minus b iota or you can write minus a plus of minus b the whole into iota. So the additive inverse of a complex number is again a complex number. Now let us discuss one example. Now if the complex number z1 is equal to 2 plus 3 iota then its additive inverse z2 will be equal to minus 2 minus 3 iota. That is the additive inverse of z1 will be equal to minus 2 plus 3 iota the whole which is equal to minus 2 minus 3 iota. Now let us discuss the multiplication of two complex numbers. Now if the complex number z1 is equal to a plus b iota and the complex number z2 is equal to c plus d iota where a, b, c and d are real numbers then z1 into z2 is equal to a plus b iota the whole into c plus d iota the whole which is equal to a c minus b d the whole as iota square is minus 1 plus a d plus b c the whole into iota. Now as a, b, c and d are real numbers Therefore, AC minus BD and AB plus BC are also real numbers. So this product is of the form P plus Q iota where P and Q are real numbers and which is a complex number. Therefore, the product of two complex numbers is again a complex number. Now let us discuss one corollary related with the multiplication of two complex numbers and that is a plus b iota the whole into a minus b iota the whole 
is equal to a square plus b square plus 0, which is equal to a square plus b square. And this is a real number. Therefore, with complex numbers, the sum of two squares, a square plus b square, can be factorized as a plus b iota the whole into a minus b iota the whole. Now let us discuss one example here. If the complex number z1 is equal to 4 plus 2 iota and the complex number z2 is equal to 1 plus 3 iota, then their product that is z1 into z2 is equal to 4 plus 2 iota the whole into 1 plus 3 iota the whole which is equal to 4 minus 6 the whole plus 12 plus 2 the whole into iota which is equal to minus 2 plus 14 iota which is again a complex number. Now let us discuss the division of two complex numbers. Now if the complex number z1 is equal to a plus b iota and the complex number z2 is equal to c plus d iota where a, b, c and d are real numbers then the quotient z2 over z1 can be determined by multiplying the numerator and denominator by a minus b iota. So this is equal to, now z2 is equal to c plus d iota over z1 is equal to a plus b iota. So we will multiply the numerator and denominator by a minus b iota. Now this is equal to c plus d iota the whole into a minus b iota the whole well upon a plus b iota the whole into a minus b iota the whole. So this is equal to c a plus d b as iota square is minus 1 the whole plus d a minus CB the whole into iota whole upon now A plus B iota the whole into A minus B iota the whole will be equal to A square plus B square as iota square is minus 1. So this can be written as CA plus DB whole upon A square plus B square plus DA minus CB all upon a square plus b square into iota. So as a, b, c and d are real numbers, this means a square plus b square is also a real number, c a plus d b is a real number, and d a minus c b is also a real number. This means this complete and this complete, both of them are real numbers. Therefore, if Z1 and Z2 are complex numbers, then Z2 by Z1 is also a complex number. Now let us discuss the reciprocal of a complex number. Now if the complex number Z is equal to A plus B iota, where A and B are real numbers, then its reciprocal, that is 1 by Z, is equal to 1 by a plus b iota. Now multiply the numerator and denominator by a minus b iota. So this will be equal to a minus b iota whole upon a square plus b square which is further equal to a over a square plus b square plus of minus b 
over a square plus b square into iota. And the reciprocal of the complex number z is again a complex number. And the reciprocal of z is called the multiplicative inverse of the complex number z as z into 1 by z is equal to 1. So if the complex number z is equal to a plus b iota, then its multiplicative inverse 1 by z will be equal to a minus b iota whole upon a square plus b square. Now let us discuss the product of a rational number with a complex number. Now if the complex number z is equal to a plus b iota and p by q is a rational number then the product of p by q and z that is p by q into z can be defined as multiplication of z by p and its division by q. That is p by q into a plus b iota the whole which is equal to p into a over q plus p into b over q into iota. And if k is a real number, then k into a plus b iota the whole is equal to k into a plus k into b iota. Hence, we can say that operations whenever performed on complex numbers will result into a complex number. So in this session, you have learnt about operations with complex numbers. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.